Octo Raider Octopod, incoming Octo Report. Octo Agents, please report. Octo Report, Octo Report, Octo Report, Octo Report. Dashi reporting, desert flooding. Australia's outback doesn't get much rainfall. But when it happens, it can come in a squall. And with the earth so parched and hard and dry, a little rain can drive the floodwaters high. You might be caught off guard and as quick as a wink Find yourself swimming when all you need is a drink Look for the high ground at the start of the storm Above the flooding you'll be safe, dry and warm Yeah! Check it out! Yes, it's flooding! The mission is done Now agents prepare To follow the call to adventure anywhere Odd. It's shaped exactly like a crab. Why would a crab leave its shell behind? Let's check Shellington's creature collection. Oh, when a crab grows too big for its shell, it pops out and leaves it behind. Okay, so this shell could definitely belong to a crab, but we're nowhere near the ocean. Yeah, what's a crab doing in the desert? Let's find out. Most crabs live in the ocean, but the desert crab lives here. It lives in tunnels under the ground and only comes out at night when it's cool. But those tunnels could get flooded with water when the rain comes. We'd better find this crab and make sure it's safe. Let's look for holes in the ground. Maybe we can find the entrance to one of the crab's tunnels. Over here! Hello? Anybody home? Who wants to know? <gasps> Why are you poking around my home? We were looking for you, actually, to make sure you're safe. Huh? Is that rain? I've been hoping for rain. I need a puddle of water for my babies. Babies? Here they are. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Tiny crablets. I have to carry them around like this until I find a little puddle of water. They have to be born in water, but after they grow up, they can live in the sand like me. Uh, uh, oh no! But this is too much water! My home is going to flood! You. It's not just raining, it's flooding! You all better get to higher ground right away. Come on, into the Terraka! It's really coming down now. I can hardly see. You're doing great, sis. We're almost to the higher ground. <gasps> oh no! Some river. It's one of the things that happens in a flash flood, and one of the reasons they can be so dangerous. Water's rising all over. <gasps> Wait, aren't you going the wrong way? It'll soon be the right way, I promise. Hold on, everyone. Clem! Where are you? Over here! I found the algae! Oh, it's stuck! I can't budge it! Don't worry, I have some rope! If we tie it around the rock with the algae, we can pull it free! That's brilliant! Just have to make a knot! Well, hurry it up, partner! It's real cold down here! Ooh. Okay! I finished tying the knot and... There! Uh, oh, oh, I never was too good at tying knots. Me neither. But I know someone who is. Periwinkle! 
Hi, Mom. Why are you in the dark? Oh, you know, just doing some deep diving with your Uncle Shellington. And Clam. Cool. Periwinkle, could you show us how to make that knot you learned to tie? The bowline knot. That's the one. Sure. I've been practicing. You make a loop here, then you put the end through and wrap it around like this. Look, Mum, it worked. Oh, Periwinkle, I'm so proud of you. Now try yours. All right. Uh, through the loop and around. Uh, oh, Perry, it worked. Oh, thanks. No problem. Bye-bye, Mum. I love you. I love you too, sweetie. We did it! Oh, now, let's get this back to the others. Good idea, but which way do we go? Uh, I think I came out from there. Hmm. Wrong way, dead end. I'm not sure how much longer Clem can last down here. It's too cold. To tell the truth, I'm so cold I can't even f f feel my fins. Shellington, are you all right? Did you find Pearl and Clem? I found them and the algae, but no, we can't find our way out. It's like a maze down here. Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe I can show you the way. It's so dark down here, I can't see a thing. Wait, I can see that. Whatever in tarnation that is. Dash his camera light and the opto lift. <laughs> Just in time. Put the algae rock in and follow the light back up. Thanks, Dashy. Steady as she goes. Yep, yeah, I'm not sure how steady she can go under these conditions. Looks like one of the legs is jammed up with sand. And I'll go and unjam it. Pony, any ideas about how to. Pony? Where'd he go? Quasi, do you? Quasi? Tweak. The octopod gave it her all. Good news, everyone. We've arrived at the water hole. <laughs> it looks like these clouds aren't going away anytime soon. Right, Pony? It should rain any moment now. But where's Peso and my little one? I'm keeping an eye out for him. Dashy, keep trying to get Peso on the radio. Captain, look. <laughs> my little one. <laughs> First, Pesa found me, and then he protected me from a sandstorm, and then I thought I 
smelled rain. And so we followed the smell until we saw the clouds. And that's how we found you. Oh, I'm so happy you're back. Thank you, Peso. We were a good team. He's a very brave elephant. It's finally, officially raining! I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 